As wildfires continue to burn in Australia, the United States has sent over meteorologists to help with fire forecasting efforts, including one meteorologist from here in the Carolinas. We come here and, and provide supplemental staffing work when they've got a lot of fires going on. And Terry Lebo is a forecaster at the National Weather Service office in Wilmington, North Carolina. He's also trained as an incident meteorologist, or IMET, and has been deployed to Sydney to help support Australian meteorologists and fire crews. Sydney office is basically responsible for the state of New South Wales. So that's that's the fires that, that are in New South Wales. That's what we're concerned with. IMETs like Lebo do not monitor the fire itself. Rather, he monitors the weather near fire sites and passes on chances or potential problems to fire behavior analysts. I've always liked the decision support type stuff. I like the interaction with our users. It's very rewarding, satisfying. You get instant feedback whether you're right or wrong. These meteorologists typically support forecast efforts for large-scale incidents here in the United States, such as wildfires in California or hurricane relief efforts. Forecasting in another country, let alone another hemisphere, comes with a unique set of challenges. It's interesting because everything is opposite to what we're used to. In a cold front, they, they come in, the cold air comes from the south, the warm air comes in from the north. Lebo is part of the third group of meteorologists to deploy to Australia in six-week shifts and will be there through the middle of February. In the studio for News 19, I'm meteorologist Danielle Miller.